Ask almost any athlete of almost any caliber out there what the most crucial and often challenging part of training is. Besides physical fitness, of course, the most frequent answer you might get might be focus and mental fortitude. Now, we all know it ain't easy to train the brain, especially in the comfort of your own time and space. But this is where Alphabeats, a Netherlands-based neurotechnology company, comes in with its revolutionary approach involving an app, music, neurofeedback, and a headband as mental training tools. And perhaps the most important question here is, does it all actually work? Well, I spent three months with this thing, and here's what I found. Two components make up the Alphabeats experience. There's the app and the headband made by BrainBit. And the headband itself consists of a soft adjustable band with four EEG sensor pads arranged in the 10, 2, 4, and 8 o'clock positions around your head. Um, and there's also on one end a small battery pack that magnetically sits in a slot right here. It draws right in really easily on the left temple which is counterbalanced nicely right here on the other side uh, by the circuit module. Uh, by the way, the battery module itself is removable for charging with a separate dock right there. Now, donning the headband is no different from wearing a regular sweatband or headlamp if you have one of those, with the only special requirement being to lightly wet the sensor pads before each use. Once you've installed the app on your phone, set up the account, and paired the headband to the device, starting a session is as easy as selecting a quick activity like right down here for recovery or focus training, or fire up one of the longer multi-session programs if you like. When launching any of these sessions, let me try to show it to you here, the app will pose pre and post session questions, which are completely optional and don't seem to have any bearing on the final results. Next, we're brought to the Feed FM page where users can select their preferred radio stream and then the EEG sensors after you selected what you wanted. The EEG sensors will uh, do their things such as ensuring the band and sensors are sitting properly on your head. In this case, it says it's not. And really, that's the setup. What follows is a form of gamified brain training that works using neurofeedback via music and also cognitive tasks via visual games. For example, when the user is listening to a track on the audio stream and then loses focus for whatever reason, the proprietary system will alter the quality of the playback. In other words, it will reduce bass and depth and it will sound really flat until the person regains focus again. Another thing to note is that neurofeedback latency, if that's what you're wondering, between the app and the headband is thankfully low, which means there's less chance of lag breaking a user's concentration. The ultimate goal here is for your brain to lock into and maintain alpha waves, which usually equates to calmness. And alpha beats say that its program can also help its users achieve peak performance, manage stress, and improve sleep and overall mental resilience. So there's a lot of applications for this. At the end of the day, how much is the whole experience? Well, the headband retails for 450 bucks, while the Alphabeats program has a $16 monthly plan or a $150 annual subscription. One of the first things that struck me was the cohesiveness of the entire ecosystem between the quality of the app, the quality of the headband, the smooth music feed integration, and the well-sorted proprietary algorithm. It just doesn't feel like a first-gen product, guys. And aside from the occasional bugs, more on that later, I have absolutely no qualms using or recommending the hardware and software as a reliable enough daily driver. When it comes to Alphabeats' EEG-based hardware, I'm glad the final product that we have right now didn't turn out like, say, Doc Brown's Brainwave Analyzer from Back to the Future. I mean, it would have looked cool, but the real life version that we get is fantastic for its untethered portability. Like going on a trip, need to move from room to room, no problem, just pick it up and go. Just as importantly, this kind of portability doesn't come at the expense of battery life either. I can easily get through about two and a half weeks of use consisting of one to two eight minute sessions per day. Of course, there is the slight inconvenience of breaking out an older micro USB cable to power the charging cradle because, you know, practically everyone else has moved on to USB-C. So what the heck, man? Of course, the big kahuna question here is 
how effective is the whole Alphabets methodology? And I know it's science proven, it's lab tested, it's used by professional athletes everywhere and all that. But how does it work for a regular user like myself? Well, after undergoing at least one eight minute alpha wave training session per day for the past 90 plus days, which is the recommended time frame to see measurable focus gains, I am now able to more easily enter a focus state while prepping for say a run or a bike ride or if I want to just chill out at the end of a particularly stressful day. Part of the beauty of it all is the simplicity of use and gamification of the entire training regimen. And on top of that, using Alphabets also doesn't mean that you need to ditch your previous mental or focus training programs either. I found that it not only works well on its own, but also works just as great, if not better, in conjunction with other focused meditative regimens. So like side note, as a religious person, as a Christian who likes to set aside daily time for quiet inflection and prayer, I found that running alpha beats before or after the fact helps with entering and maintaining that devotional state for what it's worth. It's great that Alpha Beats taps into Feed FM, which is awesome for its breadth of channel options. However, for the many users who prefer queuing up a set of preferred songs to enhance their focus, streaming audio is not the answer. Because as it is, you have a limited number of skips per hour, you can't set favorites, you can't filter more granularly, such as by tempo or by energy, or you can't play your own locally stored audio files either. Another minor downer is that you can't change radio channels mid-session, so if you choose like R&B, you're basically stuck with R&B. Some users may not have the patience to see the payoffs of this whole program, which, you know, admittedly and understandably requires a at least a lengthy 90-day commitment. Now, for those who do decide to commit to the program, another part of the whole payoff challenge, I believe, lies with the guesswork behind finding one's own focus technique or techniques. Because after all, focus and relaxation efficacy differs from person to person, right? So while the Alphabets app is awesome at laying down the foundation for you to begin the process, finding your own sweet spot or it zone is down to quite a bit of trial and error. For me, for example, it took about a week and a half or so before I learned what worked best. And I found that I needed to either warm up my brain by playing one of the in-app games and or focusing my mind to literally think about more bass when listening to music. And I know that sounds strange, but it works for me anyway. I'm not sure if it's just my unit or if it's a more widespread problem, but I've had issues with battery level inaccuracies or maybe it's some kind of phantom battery drain or something. Like it doesn't happen often, but a couple of times so far, I could have sworn that the battery level was reading 70 plus percent the day before, but yet the next day, the headband failed to repeatedly connect to my phone. And then when I plugged the battery into the charger, I found that the battery was actually completely flat. One small niggle. It's odd to me that for something made for focusing, the Alphabets app doesn't automatically mute your phone notifications. Like many of my sessions are frequently interrupted by textings here and email pings there. And yes, I know I can manually turn on do not disturb and all that, but it would have been more convenient if I didn't have to worry about it in the first place. After spending more than three months of letting Alphabets and the BrainBit headband do their thing on me, I can definitively say that the program works. So before I started the whole regimen, I was imagining that I would gain mega night and day difference in my focus, like on a godlike level or something. But in reality, it was less about bulking up on brain muscle, but more about creating self-awareness of my mental state at any given time before sleep or before working out and taking small and manageable steps using the app to fine tune my brain waves. And speaking of the app, it's easy to use anytime, it's well designed, and so is the headband. Now, I do think that the hardware and subscription is quite spendy, especially for personal use, but at least buyers can claim up to 30% on their FSA, HSA accounts. Well, thanks so much for joining us, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you've been using the Alpha Beats or have any thoughts about it, let us know down in the comments. But anyways, my name is Aaron Leung for Hot Hardware, signing off. Take care, guys.